Hello everyone, this is Nate here and I call myself the 70s and 80s guy. Uh, today I'm coming at you uh, with a new video because um, I haven't posted in over a year and I'm still doing stuff from time to time. And uh, I wanted to show you my 1976 Cadillac Seville. This is an update on a vehicle that I bought from a year ago. So here we go here. So this is my 1976 Cadillac Seville. Um, this car I had bought out of New York about a year ago. It had been in storage for about 30 years. Uh, it hadn't been put on the road since then. And uh, so anyway, I got the car and I had to do a lot of work to uh, make it roadworthy again. And I've been using this car now for the past year. It gets used quite regularly. Um, it's been kind of a sort of part-time commuter car for me uh, at work and I work about um, 20 miles away from my house and um, It does it drives pretty good. Uh, it doesn't get good gas mileage um, I will say because the car had been converted over to carburation um, I didn't do it the the guy that I bought the vehicle um, Did it so let me show you some of the insides here I've done a lot of upgrades to this vehicle, by the way. Now this car does not have cruise control. Uh, I, it's pretty hard to believe, but it doesn't have cruise control. A lot of these Cadillacs did though. Everything's mint in here. And there's no tears in the, the lever seats or nothing. Everything's all intact. This car has actually 34,000 original miles on it. When I bought it, it had 30. Uh, let me show you under the hood here. Uh, it's got an old, old uh, 350 in it. Hold on. Here's the motor. Now we had to put all new hoses in here. I mean, everything has been gone through. Every single hose has been gone through. I put a new master cylinder, a brake booster. Um, I had to do a lot of searching to get that brake booster. I, um, and quite frankly, right now, if you were looking for that brake booster, I don't think you could find it. But it's all been replaced. New water pump, new everything. And like I said, this car gets used quite regularly. Uh, Year-round, I live here in New Hampshire. Um, I just don't take it out on snowy days. The car is gray. It's the original paint. The only thing that's going on here is the, the trunk. The uh, Some of the paint is kind of just chipped away over the years, but it's all original. It's got a vinyl top. It's all intact, nothing's, no rips, no nothing. The windshields, no pits in it or nothing. A lot of chrome on this car. Now I got, the, I got new tires put on it about a year ago. Those are uh, 215, 75, R15 uh, tires. I mean the rims. Those are not the original rims. Um, that's how I bought the car. I'm assuming that the rims had gotten discharged, I mean discarded or something. I do have the original hubcaps that go to this vehicle. Now I just put a brand new gas tank in this the other day. My friend, who's a genius, I give him credit for everything that he does. Um, he put a new gas tank in it for me. Um, you cannot get that gas tank anymore for this car. They don't make the gas tank. So I had to retrofit a, a Chevy Nova um, gas tank. And we had to get a new sending unit that went for the Chevy Nova. So it works. I had to do some replumbing down there. I actually do have a video of it. Um, but I decided not to post it because... I, you know, I just didn't want to give up bad advice if I was doing something wrong, but anyway, um, oh, let me start the car. I mean, not that you're going to really hear it on YouTube, but hold on, hold on, starts right up too. It's very quiet. It's not the original radio. I do have the original radio on it. Uh, I'm going to install it at some point. But yeah, all uh, everything works on it. And it gets, like I said, I drive it about two to three times a week. So I put about 40, 40 miles on it a day. 
um, drive it year round. I take it to a few car shows from time to time. Come on, well, let me open up the hood again here. I do take it to some car shows from time to time. Runs nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Now these cars are becoming very rare. Um, they're out there on the internet. Um, there's not a whole lot of them, but the ones I do see are uh, very expensive and uh, prepared to pay a lot of money. But yeah, this, this car's got a nice, a lot of nice chrome on it. It's got a lot of nice chrome. And I'm always taking care of this car, by the way. I'm always cleaning it, uh, polishing it. Um, I also just put new shocks in it too. Um, it had um, shocks, air shocks that the. Uh, hold on, I'll actually show you them. They're in my truck. My trunk is not in, in good condition. It's pretty dirty. So let me uh, open up the thing here. The shocks um, were pretty shot, so I had to get new ones. So I just retrofitted them with some new ones. But here's the old shock. These are the old air riding shocks. They were actually, one of them was actually blown. But they were very easy to replace. It was just take off the tire and three bolts. But like I said, those aren't the original wheels that went with this car. I actually have the hubcaps sitting in my shed right now. But um, anyway. But. Uh, let me know what you think in the in the comment section. Um, what you think of the car? Like I said, this is a, an updated video. Um, a year later after owning the vehicle, so um, I've done. Like I said, I've done a lot of work to this car. A lot of love and labor has gone to making that car look pristine. I'm always washing it, cleaning it, waxing it. I keep the tires clean all the time. Um, so just let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you again some other time. Thank you.